Welcome to the new episode of How Cool Is Math? Here is a quick view to the content in this video. The main topic will start in Today's video is about a topic in statistics and probability. The Slovens formula, suppose you are a researcher, and you need to study a community with a large number of population for a target market, but you are running out of time, since your boss told you to submit the data a week ahead, and you don't have any idea of the behavior of each members. What would you do? Now, you came up with the idea of getting a sample size for the population that will represent the whole community. Enter Slovens formula. What is a Slovens formula? And what does it do? Slovens formula is a formula used to determine a sample size of a population surveyed, especially when you don't have an idea of the population's behavior. A Slovens formula is employed to save time, money, and effort. Here is the Slovens formula. Lowercase n is equal to uppercase n over the quantity of 1 plus uppercase n times e squared, where lowercase n is your sample size, uppercase n is your population size and e is your margin of error. Here are the steps in calculating a sample size using Slovens formula. Number 1, identify the population size. Number 2, decide your confidence level, the standard level is between 90% and 95%, inclusively. Number 3, compute the margin of error, using your confidence level, subtract your confidence level from 100%. Number 4, convert the resulting percentage to decimal form. For example, 5% is 0.05. Number 5, input values to the Slovens formula, input population size and margin of error. Number 6, round up the answer to the nearest whole number. For example, 188.76 is rounded up to 189. Again, here is the Slovens formula. Now, let's go to sample problems. Calculate the necessary survey size for a population of 350, allowing a 5% margin of error. In this problem, the given population size is 350, and the margin of error is 5%. Converting 5% to decimal form will give you 0.05. Now, let's input the values to the Slovens formula, sample size, equals to population size, over 1 plus population size, times margin of error, squared. Inputting values will give you Sample size, equals to 350, over 1 plus 350 times 0.05 squared. Calculating, the result is, 186.67. Round up the result to the nearest whole number. The result is, 187. Here is another sample problem. A community is surveyed with a population of 10,300. The confidence level is 95%. Calculate the sample size. In this problem, the given population size is 10,300. Let's calculate the margin of error. Margin of error equals 100% minus the confidence level of 95%. The result is 5%. Converting to decimal form will become 0.05. Next, input values to the Slovens formula. Sample size equals population size over 1 plus population size times margin of error squared. This will become 10,300 over 1 plus 10,300 times 0.05 squared. By calculating this, the result is 385.05. Rounding up to the nearest whole number will give you 386. Here's a tip. In working with data gathering or surveying, when preparing survey questionnaires, use the back page of a scratch paper. Reuse paper. Save the trees. Save the planet. It's time for the quick quiz. We are giving you five questions to answer in 25 seconds time. You may use a calculator. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one, the correct formula for Slovens is
Number 2. It is used to determine a sample size of a population. Number 3. When your confidence level is 92%, what is your margin of error? Number 4. The number of population to be surveyed is 500. Your confidence level is 94%. Find the sample size. Number 5. There are 2,500 students to be surveyed. Say you have a margin of error of 0.07. What is your sample size? Whoa! That was fast! Here is the answer's key. Number 1. C. Sample size equals population size over 1 plus population size times margin of error squared. Number 2. B. Slovens formula. Number 3. E. 0.08. Number 4. A. 179. Number 5. B. 189. Here is another set of facts. All about the main topic. Check this out. Did you know who? The inventor of Slovens formula. Well, his photo is still unavailable. His real first name is yet to be known. All we know is, he invented the formula in the 1960s. Do you know Taro Yamane? He is often credited for his formula which is identical to Slovens. But his formula was published years after Slovens. Let us see, how well, did you do, on our quick quiz. Have you already summed up your scores? The following, is an assessment. Did you get a perfect score? Wow, you're a math, wizard. You score 4 out of 5. You did, well, stay on top of the class. You score 3 out of 5. You need to raise your bar higher. Focus on your goal. You score 2 out of 5. As they say, practice makes a man perfect. You gotta risk it, to get the biscuit. You score 1 out of 5. Oh, I recommend to repeat the video. Remember, it's never too late to try again. Thanks for watching.